What is going on, everyone? Mega here with a brand with a brand new video. Now, it, originally this this video was gonna be on a bot on a bot video, but the the next video for the bot tutorials was was gonna be on on like fixing a, a, a past issue with a that I had with a previous video, as well as doing some stuff on roles. But I need to figure some stuff out on that because I need to get it working for for my bot first before I can make a video on it. So, so that's why this, this video isn't on, on, on a bot video, cause I'm still trying to figure that, that out. So, so in, in, in this video, what, 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 what we're going to be doing is that it's going to be very similar to, to a previous video we, we did is that we're, we're, we're going to be doing some basic stuff in a uh, unity and, and like basically making a basic like main menu for for a visual novel. On on that note, I'm actually the 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 these videos may come out like a little bit like later than uh, or like a more slower pace than than normal. It's because I'm actually making a a a visual novel engine to to be used in it in Unity at the moment, and and currently there there's there's not a lot in, in the in in the engine. You can you can add music, you can add characters, you can you can do like some like a uh, basic like animation stuff and and like change their expressions and stuff and you can add music sound effects but it, it it's really not polished enough yet but if you want access to it i can e easily put it on the assets at asset store when it's ready so if you if you want access to, access to that just 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 let me know and i can put that put that up so without further ado let's begin all right. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna, I'm gonna actually open up Unity, and I'm using Un Un Unity 2019. And and ignore the, the these projects right now. This is just like the the uh, the project that I just mentioned that I'm working on. So I'm gonna create a new project, and we're we're, we're gonna. Mm, and since this is going to be a, a visual novel, we're, we're, we're going to set it to, to, to 2D. And I'm going to just leave everything as is, and I'm going to just call this a tutorial. And we're going to create the project. Okay, and and so, oh, let me just bring it over because you can't see it. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're 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 in Unity now, and so what what we're gonna do is is that we're 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 gonna make our our basic main main menu, and so what we need need for that is that we need to go go over to to our to to to, to our sample scene, and. I, 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 I actually before that I'm gonna actually go go over to my scenes and I'm gonna create a new scene and I'm gonna call this main menu and then I'm gonna open that up and it's gonna be basically that's the same the same thing it's not gonna have any difference because it's a uh, because we haven't added anything yet but I'm I, I'm not gonna need this anymore so I'll delete it Okay, and so now the first thing that, that we need to do is that we actually need to create our, our user interface. And so I'm going to go go over to right click on, over here and click UI. And then I'm going to create a UI, UI canvas. And I'm going to go go over to here on the UI, on the canvas scaler and set, and set it to scale with screen size. And I'm going to set the scale to 1280 by 720. This is just the size that I always use, like like to do do stuff in. But if you mm, but if you want to do it in, in in 1080, you can go go right ahead. I, I just prefer to do it in in 720 to to, to take into account like if mm, if the the person playing the game is not capable of, of playing it in, in uh in, in 1080, they, they they can they can play it in, in, in the the game is available in in 720. 
All right, and now that that's done, we're go actually gonna go go into our game tab, and we're gonna make sure our our aspect ratio is, is at sixteen nine. If if you're doing it in ten eighty, I'm not too sure what the aspect ratio for for that is. I think it may be say a sixteen ten, but I I I would double check. But but I know for seven twenty, it's it's the the aspect ratio is 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 sixteen nine. So just make sure you're on 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 the correct that aspect ratio. Okay, and so next thing that we need is that we need to right right click on our canvas and click a create a UI panel. And let's go over to here. Let's make sure that we're all zoomed in correctly. Okay. All right, and now now that the panel's there, we can actually start adding this stuff in. So what what we need to do is that we need to right click on the panel and go to UI image. And I'm going to scale this so that it's perfectly in in line with all corners of the panel. And then I'm I'm actually going to minimize unity. And I'm going to go over to my remfi folder which is cuz I'm going to be using the same stuff that I, from the remfi folder that I used in the previous in the previous tutorial. And I'm going to go go to my let's see where was it? YouTube. Images. No. If I could just find my stuff. There it is. Okay. All right. And so I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go over to Unity and and paste that in. Or actually, just drag it in. Okay. And and now it's it's. It's in our project where we're, we're going to click on the image and, and make sure it's set, set the sprite 2D and, and, and UI because it won't work if, if it's not set, set to that. So then we're going to go back to our, to our image and we're going to just drag and drop our, 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 our main menu image into the, into the source image. And there we go. We have a, um, a main menu. Well, it's not much, but but if we actually press play, we can see it. And there we go. We we have a our our visual novel main main menu. But we we actually need need some stuff to add to it, of course. So next, we're, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna right click on, on uh, over here and go to UI. And you you can either use use text or or text mesh pro. I I prefer to use, just use text because I I've run run into some problems with Tech Mesh Pro, and, and it's a bit more com complicated than than just using text. So so I so I just like to use text. Well, I, I, actually, no. Now that I think about it, it's not actually actually text that we need. It's actually a button that we need. And ju just like with text, you 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 can have a text text Mesh Pro button, but 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 we actually just just need a button. And I'm going to move this so it's right over here. Let's increase the size of our button. Okay, and I'm going to go into the button, the text, and I'm going to change the text to to uh, to continue. And I'm going to change the font Oh, actually, I, I forgot that we actually need a font. So let's create a new folder. Fonts. And then we're going to go back to the to, 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 to the Ramfi, to the Ramfi project. I, actually, I don't think it's in this one. I'm going to have to go, go into my, my, my actual game to, to get it. This is my personal game folder. This is the one I want. I and I'm gonna <clears throat> show an explorer so I can bring it up. Fonts and paste. Okay, there we go. And now I should be able to do it. 
go to text and change the font times new roman there we go there we go and now and now it's times new roman and i'm going to change the font to to 40 okay let's change the color so that it's completely black so that the text is completely visible and then let's go back to the button and let's actually change change the the actual button I'm gonna change this the the normal color and we're gonna drop down the deal path the alpha all the way because I don't need that and this is basically our our button and so all we need to do is just just um, and in fact I'm actually gonna rename this to continue button and I'm we can no actually okay and now we can just mm, duplicate this Just select the button, okay, Control D to duplicate it. There we go. Now, now it's duplicated. That, that was weird. And with, with the second one selected, we can move it down. Uh, and obviously, go into the text and let's change this to new game, to new game, I guess. And of course rename this to new game button and control D to duplicate it let's move this down and this is going to be our settings men menu so back into the text settings And then we're gonna go into, we're gonna duplicate it again. Oh, I forgot. Let's rename this. Setting this button. And this one is gonna be about. No, actually, this is gonna be gallery. Text. Gallery. Gallery button. Just a couple more. This is going to be our about menu. And change that to about. And the last one is one is going to be quit. Oh, actually, I have to move it down. Oh, actually, and and it doesn't fit. So let's move all of these up a bit. There we go. All right. Text quit. And change this to quit to rename it to quit button. Okay. And so now if we run it, we can see that we have a basic main main menu. And, it ha and, uh, and as you can see, it, it, it has a little hovering, hovering effect, which, which we can fix in, in like a, in, in a few, 
in a future tutorial. But, but the main re pur purpose of, of, of this uh, video was was to show you that you can make a visual novel in in Unity and you actually have more functionality than you do in, in, in say, Remphi. And, and, and in some cases, it's actually easier to, to make a visual novel in, in, in Unity than it is in in Renfi because some of the stuff that that you can that you're going to be doing which is the same thing thing you're doing in Renfi is, is you you can actually do it via animations rather than actual code so it, it you and unity is very good good, good for user for it, it, it is very user friendly so this was just like a little thing to, to to show you that that you can make a visual novel in, in uh in Unity really easily. So yeah, this has been Mega. In in, in future videos, I, I'm gonna work work on some more with with this, and we're gonna make more 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 of a GUI because right now it's just a main menu and it doesn't really have any functionality because we can't even do anything right now because we haven't coded it. So yeah, this has been Mega, and I will see you again next time.